YouTube, what it do? Ricky Unboxed here back with yet another banger. But today in the office, we got the Alpha, the Omega, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So right now you already know, I'm just going around the box and as you can see, they got Samsung labeled all around it. But I'm gonna go ahead and tear the tabs. One thing that I really noticed, as soon as I tear the tabs, it feels a lot stronger of a seal, like the material they use to seal it. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Honestly, I'm really digging this titanium silver colorway. I don't know, did they copy that from Apple? Cause that was their flagship color, but I don't know. We're not gonna, you know, anyways, we're just gonna be mesmerized right now going around now originally if you guys had watched that first video where i did like a first look it felt a little heavier but you know what i realized that afterwards it was probably because i was holding the phone with like the security plug that they use under the bottom but yeah guys we're just going ahead we're getting into the manual they always tuck it away on the top of the box really cool engineering for the box in my opinion pretty standard layout that they have with their box uh, as soon as you pull it out they kind of tuck the manual underneath the little tab there that you guys are going to see in a second and then they have their uh, sim card ejector tool and then you have your usb charging cable um so we're going to use this in a second because the thing with i think they had changed it on this model but usually you have to put in the sim card in order for you to get the phone all set up so we're gonna put that off to the side manual safety guide just quick little setup guide what to do what not to do how to eject the sim card tool without breaking the sim card ejector um, or damaging your smartphone how to dispose of i think it was the battery and then they have it in french um it's about a three foot cable i'm not gonna bother unwind it here but i have like a ton of these at this point but it's just your your standard about three foot usb-c cable and let's get into the bread and butter. Those cameras on the back of the phone look so clean, way less of a bulge than the iPhone 15 or any of the, pretty much any of the iPhone lineups. Um, but the camera is still really good. It performs very well. You guys are gonna see later in the video, so stick around. But let's go ahead and unravel this. Beautiful. Gorilla Glass, I believe this is a 6.8 AMOLED display thing is gorgeous you guys are gonna see it's so clean let's go ahead and turn it on so the screen has a 120 hertz max refresh rate as well as a 3120 by 1440 quad hd display thing comes it's super clean it's very very clean very responsive out of the box you do get it at i believe it was 2340 by 1080p still really clean the reason why they drop it down a little bit is just to preserve preserve on battery life but as soon as you get it out the box you can always just change it to the highest setting to get the best um visuals out of the phone now it's it feels pretty light um it's slightly lighter than last year's model you're not going to notice it too much but it is lighter and uh, we're going to grab our sim card ejector tool so there is two holes on the bottom guys just make sure you do it to the one that's on the far right um to eject the sim card tray and then it's a standard at this point a standard micro sim um and then you're just going to go ahead and put the sim card in and you're all good to go very tight very clean seal really nice and then it prompts us to restart the phone right away so we're just going to go ahead and restart the phone did a quick little edit it was not that fast um, but it was a smooth edit go ahead and drop a like for your boy if that edit was super clean so now we got the phone all set up right away and gorgeous as soon as you hit finish loads everything up so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to play around with the phone so you have to swipe to the left and you can kind of just get some quick daily news uh, pretty standard on galaxy smartphones so yeah it moves really clean let's go ahead and check this browser out so yeah man the phone is guys the phone is super super smooth so far so good i don't feel it heating up on some smartphones by now when it's doing that initial startup and 
you go through the whole startup guide, it usually starts to heat up. Haven't really felt any heating issues with this phone. It's been pretty well, pretty good. It's slimmer, slightly slimmer. And just going ahead and taking in the body of the phone, really nice. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the display settings here. I kind of wanted to show you guys how to up the um, to the highest uh, resolution. So just scroll down. You have your adaptive brightness. You have I have it on dark mode right now. Just keeps the phone a little bit darker. I kind of like the dark mode. But go ahead to screen resolution, and then you can change it to QHD. It uses a little bit more battery life, but I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, but it gets really, really clean, like very sharp, very smooth, very sharp display. I'm going to switch it back because I'm just looking at it for the first time there, and I kind of wanted to see the comparison. So let me see if you guys can see it through the video. If I go back and I hit apply, I don't know if you'll be able to realize it through the screen, but you can definitely tell a difference in person if you can't see it on the video. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it on QHD. Um, and then there's just some other small little settings that you guys can adjust. And let's take a quick peek at Galaxy AI. I'm going to need a bit more time to kind of dive into Galaxy AI a little bit more. So I'm not going to dive too much into it in this video, um, but you can use it for your phone, your keyboard. Um, there's an interpreter so you can live interpret chats from somebody who's speaking a different language. Crazy stuff in here. Um, Samsung notes like there's just so much that you can use the photo editor. It's basically like a Google Pixel, but like on steroids. Um, apparently it doesn't glitch as much, but again, just, I'm going to take some time, go through that. And then I'll drop that video later on. We're just going to go ahead and just check out the S pen. Bear with me guys, as I do daily in iPhone. So if some of these features seem a little bit mind blowing to me, but for you guys, like they've been on the Samsung galaxies, it's just because I haven't really used this phone that much since I've done like my last galaxy videos. So Right now, I'm just playing around with the um, notepad here. And bruh, honestly, this smartphone with the S Pen, I can't get over like how realistic it feels to like write on the screen. Like it, it feels like you're legit writing on paper. Like I swear to you, like even like drawing, like I'm going to show you guys in a bit, like just drawing on this on the screen with the S Pen is it's crazy, guys. Like it's so responsive, so realistic like 10 out of 10 like 10 out of 10 for sure you so much stuff you can adju um, adjust uh like basically adjusting like the the type of color that you use as well as like the width of the marker that you're using and then i'm just like being introduced to air command for the first time like i'm like what the heck's going on so you can like double tap i didn't even realize but in the back when i double tapped it like double tap the button on the pencil it launches my camera as well as like if i do like random not random but swipe the pen in the air in a certain direction it'll like select certain things um there's a whole menu for like all that stuff but just gonna go check out coloring on this phone like i was gonna show you guys before there's tons of pictures to choose from this stuff is all free like comes with the phone um and then yeah like you can color on the phone i showed this very like briefly when i did the first impressions video but here like I'm going to draw you guys like a small picture later on. Um, so just going around and like just coloring with it is like crazy. Like and there's like so many different colors that you can choose from. And like there's pencils, there's pen, there's like, bro, there's so like it's so realistic too. like look at the pencil like, bro, what? So if you color over the same spot over and over, like it's slightly slowly gets darker and darker. And like the harder you press, just absolutely nuts. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and draw you guys a picture. If you like the picture, go ahead and drop a uh, landscape or a rocket down below in the comments. Go ahead and hit that subscribe. But I'm just going to speed through this while you guys enjoy my artwork.
there it is my artwork guys if you like the picture go ahead and drop a rocket or a sun emoji in the comments down below but without further ado let's check these cameras out guys i'll be back in a second And there you guys have it. The cameras, as you can see, are absolutely incredible on the S24. The S23's cameras are also really good, but you can see in that 10X and that 20X that the picture is just so crisp compared to last year's model. And we're just gonna take a quick look on my page and run a quick video. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and support me. Subscribe to the video so I can get monetized. I'm really close and i can start dropping way more content but yeah i'm just gonna run a quick video um video runs super clean the picture quality is really nice you can see that 120 hertz refresh makes the phone run very smooth just a quick little look at that and now we're gonna run a quick game just see how the phone heats up how it runs it's very very nice so far guys but go ahead enjoy that gameplay and once again i'll be back in a second. And there it is, a quick little unboxing review and a little setup of the S24 Ultra. This is Samsung's flagship for 2024. One more thing I wanna show you guys before I go is if you drop the pen out before the screen turns on, once the screen does activate, it's like a quick little notepad you guys can use as soon as the phone turns on. You need to make a quick note. Uh, you're in a meeting and you need to jot something down or something comes to mind. and whatever the, the case is there's my big smile for you guys as much as so much as i love you guys my smile is all the way from ear to ear um if you guys do like this video please drop a like subscribe go and check out any one of the two videos on the sides and i will gladly see you guys on the next one take care peace out and as always as always i love you guys